A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, Praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon among those who know the Lord. Of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there. And of Zion they shall say, one and all were born in her. And he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there. And all shall sing in their festive dance, my home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jews walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, how long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe, because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I, I wrote about this uh, several years back, but um, in seminary, I... Uh, I studied in Rome and, and we visited uh, one uh, one time uh, uh, Wales. Uh, and I noticed, um, it was my first time in, in you know Great Britain, and Wales, just a beautiful countryside, very similar to Ireland. And uh, obviously I saw sheep, a lot of sheep on, on the hillsides. And I noticed uh, the sheep had a uh, marker, uh, like, colorful splotches on them, uh, on their wool. So like an orange, uh, splotch or purple or, or blue or whatever. And, uh, finally I met a shepherd and I inquired, you know, like, what was the deal? And he said, you know, this is the way we mark the sheep. You know, this is part of this flock. That's part of that flock. It's a, you know, it's that colorful marker to identify, uh, the property and the sheep belongs to that specific owner. So when we are baptized, we get that splotch, if you will, put on us. It's invisible now, but it's in our soul and it's colorful in our soul. And, and, and the Lord sees that. We are gods. We are sheep. We belong in the flock of Jesus Christ. Now, this is significant because Jesus is saying here in the gospel to certain people, you do not belong to my flock. That's why they're not able to, to believe. 
They're not going to be able to accept. I mean, they've seen sign after sign, the multiplication of loaves and fishes, Jesus healing paralyzed people, and they still do not believe because they don't belong to the flock. But we don't have that issue, hopefully, uh, because we belong to the flock. We have that mark, that mark on us. We have faith. Uh, Faith is a gift from God. And sometimes we need to fall back on that faith. It seems so simple. You know, we always like faith. It it all comes down to to faith. Um, And we need to get back to basics because we can, we can fall into too many works. You know, we're trying to work to, to get to God, trying to make sense of things. And we lose sight of the reality that's just, it's actually very simple. We're sheep. We're just roaming around. We've got that mark. God sees us. We're going to stray from time to time. He's going to come out, bring us back. He sees the the colorful splotch on our soul. And we just need to believe. We just need to believe. Believe what? Believe that we are God's and the Father, who is the shepherd, wants us. And he's not going to let us go down. He's not going to let us wander off the cliff. He's going to find us. He's going to bring us back into his fold, and he's going to make use of us. God is doing all the action. We're the recipients. Just need to believe. Have faith, and you shall possess eternal life. Amen.